guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a fun little video. Basically, I wanted to show you guys some new products to my makeup collection and kind of give you guys, you know, little mini reviews. Not really reviews, but more like first impressions. I'm still in the process of testing some of these pieces out, so I don't want to give you guys like my final opinion on them. But I just wanted to show you some things you might have seen in that huge haul I uploaded. If you haven't seen it, I will link it up in the cards for you guys to check out. It's so fun, it's an hour long, it's basically like a little motion picture, so get some popcorn and watch it. But here are some products in that haul that I tested that I'm kind of loving, and I wanted to share it with you guys. Okay, so the first item I have been so, so excited about is this guy. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Dreamsicle. Now this shade definitely looks more orange. I feel like in the advertising it is not as orange in person I feel like so I feel like it'll actually be really suitable for many different skin tones it is the highlight I have on today and it blends out into like a beautiful more like even a champagne shade really than a dreamsicle shade it's a beautiful peachy highlighter and I wouldn't be too worried if you have light skin about this blending I think it would be a beautiful blush topper for you if you are a really really pale princess but on me I think it looks like a wonderful natural highlight this is so true to the Becca formula and I love the white packaging. Now I'm not sure if this is limited edition but if you guys get a chance to check this out definitely do otherwise any of the other shimmering skin perfectors are bound to dazzle you so yeah I really like this and I wanted to share it with you. Next item I picked up on a recommendation from a YouTuber is the Tatcha Pore Perfecting Sunscreen. Now I am not one of those people that wears sunscreen every day when I go outside and honestly sunscreen kind of freaks me out because I have this like perfect skincare regimen and I really don't want to add anything to it to mess it up especially you know with makeup on top of it so I have this tried and true regimen but I have been wearing this on days when I'm not wearing makeup because I am outside quite significant amount now that it is summer here and I have been loving this guy. Um, there is no real like hint of sunscreen. It really blends quite well into the skin and I have worn makeup over this and it's been totally fine. So it says apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure, reapply at least every two hours. And yeah, so I really like it and it's made in the USA, formulated in Japan. Everyone loves Tatcha and I think this is a really good product from them. So if you're looking for some sunscreen, definitely check this out. It is a little bit more pricey, but when it comes to skincare, I mean, really, it's worth the splurge because you know you're putting something good on your face. Next item I have been loving is this one by Fenty. This is the new Kilowatt Foil in Mimosa Sunrise and Sunset Sangria Sunset. Oh my gosh, I did a little video, like a swatch party first impressions of this little guy, so I will link it in the cards for you guys to check out, but I honestly wasn't sure if this would be wearable, but I'm actually loving it. I wear the purple shade as like a blush slash highlight all the time. Most of Sunrise, I feel like it almost like blends into my skin, but it's a little too close to my skin color where it just looks like almost a little too dark for me, but... I don't know, I really like this duo. I like this more than Trophy Wife actually because I feel like it's a little bit better of a formula. So yeah, I'm just loving this little duo by Fenty. And if you guys wanna see it on my skin, definitely watch that video. Next thing I'm loving is skincare. This is the UFO Ultra Clarifying Face Oil by Sunday Riley. Now I talked about this in my Sephora wishlist video and it was basically one of the only oils I was missing from the Sunday Riley lineup. So I got this and this is basically for management and prevention of acne and blackheads. And I don't know, I feel like it is such a nice oil, it's very lightweight and I feel like it has been helping my skin because when I went home, like my skin went crazy. I was getting so many zits and I was really sad because I feel like I had finally nailed a skincare routine and I was back to square one being back home. So I'm so happy I got this guy, especially on sale, and I'm really loving it. So if you suffer from acne and you need a little bit of hydration, definitely try this out. It's so worth it, and I love all the other Sunday Riley oils as well. Sometimes I put this on and then I just put on my Juno oil or my Flora and I'm good to go. So really love this, and it is green, which is my favorite color in the whole world. 
Okay, the next thing I bought that I have been loving since I got back are these two lip shades by Jeffree Star. I got Allegedly and Thick as Thieves. Now, I was so, so freaking excited to get my hands on these because these are new shades. Well, not new shades. He had them as lipsticks and now they are in his liquid lipstick formula, which is my favorite liquid lipstick formula. I'm not going to lie. I love these. I can wear them all day. Today I have on the shade. I, it's thick as thieves. I love these two colors. I even convinced one of my Instagram followers to pick up these two shades because I talked so much about them. So I know not a lot of people love Jeffree Star, but the guy can make a good liquid lipstick. I will give him that. The next thing I have been absolutely loving is the Hourglass Wheel Translucent Setting Powder. Now I have a shit ton of powders and this is a freaking game changer. I love our Hourglass's powder products. They are so well made and I know this is kind of almost like an oldie in many people's books because it's been out for a while but this packaging is so great. You get the perfect amount of product. It does not waste the product and the powder is wonderful. It feels so soft. I use it to set my under eyes and sometimes I just buff it into my whole face and I have literally like touched my under eyes and felt how soft they are even after using this. Sometimes powders can make your under eyes look super duper crepey and this does not do that. So I'm going to continue testing this but so far I really love it and I love the packaging and Hourglass just did such a wonderful job with this. I could not be more excited. Next product I'm loving is the new Becca B Be A Light Medium to Deep Face Palette. Now this came out quite recently. I haven't used it a ton but keep in mind these are just new products that I've been trying out that I've been loving. I just wanted to show you guys really quick in case you guys were interested. So this basically comes with two powders. One is like a matte and this one has like a hint of shimmer in it. This palette reminds me so much of the Hourglass palette. It's so funny because I feel like they were going for that vibe. Also, I'm really loving the blush and bronzer shade in this palette. Now, I feel like this shade is a little bit dark, but that's okay. I'm actually wearing this palette on my face today, and I absolutely, absolutely love it. Such a gorgeous powder. Such a gorgeous product. You guys, I mean, I really like Becca's powder products as well. Between Hourglass and Becca, they make, like, my favorite powder product formulas. Okay, and then the last item that I recently picked up that I have been loving is the Kat Von D. 10 year anniversary palette. Now, I don't end up loving a lot of things I try from Kat Von D, but so far I am actually really enjoying this palette. It is the palette I use to create this eye look today. I am on a mission to test out all the shades so I can bring you guys a wonderful review. And today I'm basically wearing all of these shades down here because I decided to do a neutral look. I did create some bolder looks with like the blues and the purples and yeah so far this has been a really good palette. There is a bit of fallout from this guy but that might be because I'm kind of an eyeshadow bully and I like to dig into my shadows sometimes um, and so I really like to try and pick up the product with this guy but honestly it's beautiful. The shimmer shades foil wonderfully. I like the size of this palette. I think the packaging is nice. You get a ton of like color variation but it's still nice and sleek which is a welcome change because like do you guys remember the metal, metal matte palette like that palette is obnoxious even the saint and sinner palette was like a window shape so it's like impossibly annoying to store and of course the mibuta local palette which is that giant obnoxious palette that everyone complains about storing so i'm very happy she did something you know still very true to her but also easy to manage so yeah, this is a pretty good one by Kat Von D and I'm going to have a review up on this as soon as I'm done testing all of the shades, but I wanted to come on here and you and give you guys a little mini review so you had some idea on how I was feeling about this palette. Okay guys, that is everything for me. I hope you found this video useful and entertaining. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I post, I usually upload every other day. Um, I haven't been doing that quite as much, but this is my attempt to keep up with my YouTube schedule. So yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye guys.